President of France will not be going to the Winter Olympics in Sochi, and neither will any other top French official. Francois Hollande now joins other European leaders snubbing the Winter Olympics in Russia. It was last week that Germany's president and the European Union's Justice Commissioner both announced that they will go or that they will not be going to the Winter Games. Both governments have faced pressure from the human rights groups to boycott the games in protest of Russia's anti-gay laws. And now one American human rights organization is urging the Obama administration administration to send LGBT leaders as part of its official U.S. delegation to the Winter Olympics. Joining me now is Human Rights First Advocacy Council, Sean Gaylord. Sean, it's great to have you here. And your group sent a letter to Valerie Jarrett asking for the administration to send LGBT leaders to Sochi in the official delegation. Why do you think that that's more of an effective approach than what the French government seems to be doing by not sending anybody? Well, I don't think the two things cancel each other out. I think sending the president or first lady is also not sending them is also something that we would support sending a sort of lower level delegation. But we do think it's very important to have openly LGBT people on that delegation. I think it sends a strong affirming message to Russia and the world about the importance of LGBT people in society. Who, I mean, do, do you know of anybody that's on the short list to be a part of the U.S. delegation? Do you have any word? Because the First Lady did go as part of the delegation to the Summer Olympics. Uh, we haven't heard anything official yet. Um, we're hoping, I think the news is supposed to come out in the next week or two. Uh, we do know that the administration has received our letter. Mm -hmm. We've had opportunities to do some follow-up uh, in other meetings at the White House and State Department, and we have uh, reaffirmed that ask. All right, so uh, one of the things, Sean, that we've been covering, certainly in this hour, is what's happening in Russia, what type of homophobia, what type of violence the LGBT community there is facing. And certainly this propaganda law has allowed cover for the type of hostility that certain people have, the homophobia uh, that exists in Russia right now. There's this well-known TV actor in Russia who just last week said this, I would put all the gays alive into an oven. I cannot be indifferent about it because it is a real threat to my children. There's the Russian actor right there that, that made that reprehensible statement. Uh, but how do you feel about the symbolic act uh, of being at the Olympics, uh, of, of having openly gay people as part of the American delegation, and what type of message that that sends, not only to Vladimir Putin, but a message to the LGBT community in Russia? Because I would imagine that without this type of attention, they have to feel very isolated. Absolutely. We're very connected with people on the ground in Russia pushing for full equality. Uh, Human Rights First organized a briefing for several of them last week on the Hill, and we talked to them constantly. We're definitely taking our cues from what they think would be most helpful, and I think they agree that having LGBT people as part of the delegation would send that type of message that they need to send. They need to be included in Russian society. Uh, they need cultural acceptance to happen and sending a delegation that includes openly LGBT officials I think can help make that can help move that forward yeah it's not about asking for special protection it's about it's about asking and seeking equal respect we do know as we look at the larger picture here Sean that LGBT rights is just one of the points of friction between our country and Russia right now as we look at the litany of other things right now it's Russia's support for Syria their relationship with Iran current crisis in the Ukraine also the protection of asylum that was granted to NSA leaker, leaker Edward Snowden there in Russia. So how do you think that the president can balance all the delicate foreign policy issues but still take a decisive stand on human rights because so many people consider President Obama to be the first gay president? Right. Well, I mean, that is something that the president has to struggle with all the time. But I would describe what's happening in Russia now as a real crisis for the LGBT community. You've seen the stories of young men being lured into situations where they're beaten and assaulted and humiliated on camera. Those perpetrators are known. Those videos are shown, and everybody knows who's committing those crimes. And yet, the police do absolutely nothing. And you know also that there's a 
proposal that's probably going to come back after the Olympics to uh, allow the Russian authorities to take children away from LGBT parents. So I think when things like that are happening, it rises to a whole new level. And even though President Obama does have to balance competing concerns, I think the situation there is getting very frightening. Sean Gaylor with Human Rights First. Sean, great to have you on. Thank you, sir. Thank you.